doing? Hope everyone's doing well. Welcome to Passion, Purpose, and Possibilities. I am your Money Mindset Dream Big Coach and Podcast Host, Kenny Ingersoll. Sorry for the bit of delay. Had some technical issues, but here we are. So hope everyone's doing well. Everyone's doing well. Hope everyone's having a great May so far. I'm looking forward to the holiday coming up and the school, summer, whatever that looks like for you. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. It's got a fantastic summer planned up. It's been a phenomenal year so far. I've loved it. So well, we're going to jump right into it. Our guest today is Lori Osborne. She's the founder and chief solutions architect for Biz Bolster Web Solutions. <clears throat> Excuse me. <clears throat> Just uh, <clears throat> looking forward to that. I've got a tickle in my throat. I do apologize. But without further ado, let's bring on Lori. Hello, Kenny. How are you, Lori? I am doing great. How are you? Besides I the tickle in your throat. Fabulous. <laughs> <laughs> what was that? I said, besides the tickle in your throat. <laughs> <laughs> Even with the tickle in my throat, I'm doing fabulous. It's going to be a fabulous day. Oh, thank you for joining with us. And thanks for bearing with me through the technical things. My computer just like completely froze. <laughs> hate it when that happens and my camera stopped working right before i started so i'm with you <laughs> it, they must they must be talking to each other because i turned my camera on and that's when my computer froze <laughs> of course of course <laughs> <laughs> so so they're like oh are we sure we want to do this stream today <laughs> It's Let's a see holiday how weekend. Really <laughs> it's too hard. <laughs> yeah, I gotcha. Coming up on the weekend. Holiday coming up. I don't want to do this. <laughs> right. right. <laughs> That's okay. We overcame it. We're here. We're ready. <laughs> That's right. We we got through it. And if we had to, we would have I was getting ready to do it on my phone and <laughs> There you go, whatever it takes. <laughs> awesome. So um, tell us about yourself. You have Biz Bolster. Tell us about what you do. Tell us Biz um, Bolster. Tell us, tell us who is Lori Osborne. Okay. Um, so I have um, owned Biz Bolster for about seven years. Um, it started uh, when I left the corporate world to deal with a brain tumor, actually. I have a meningioma brain tumor. It's still there. It's part of my carotid artery. Um, it resulted in a lot of issues um, from the surgeries um, that just made me realize I'm not going back to the corporate world. So I kind of took some time to see what, what could I do to even just stay busy in case I never worked again, because I really had no idea at one point. Um, so I discovered web design. I'd always been in technology, but I had never been in the creative side. And when I started playing around with it, I went, oh my gosh, this is my calling. Too bad I had to be in my 40s before I found it, but hey, it's my, it's my calling. There's and nothing I have wrong been, with that. <laughs> yes. And I've been doing it ever since. And we moved to Florida a couple of years after that happened and found some help with my pain. And now it's a full-time gig <laughs> and uh, also discovered SEO a couple of years into it. That It's kind of funny. When I first started doing it, I said, I don't want to know anything about marketing. I just want to build websites. <laughs> <laughs> and, then, and then I realized, oh, websites don't work if you don't do the marketing side and you don't do the SEO side so that they're found. So I've really developed a lot of additional skills on top of technology to um, make the websites actually work for people. Um, other than that, I'm married to the love of my life. Um, ironically, found him about two years before the tumor. Poor guy. Um, and I have no children. I just have fur babies that I, that I love. Awesome. I love fur babies. Um, I've got four of them. So oh. it's a, it's <laughs> wow. a love hate relationship sometimes. <laughs> oh, absolutely. They always are. 
they're, they're always there and i got a small dog so i almost i I'm, sometimes i'm I, I'm surprised he's alive because of how many times I've like stepped on him or tripped over him. <laughs> <anymore>. <laughs> oh, that's you but know, hey, they're resilient. They are yeah, resilient. <laughs> it's it's not intentional, of course, but of course. <laughs> but, but when you got a a box or you're carrying in groceries and you got this little eight inch tall dog, <laughs> <laughs> well, they love to be under our feet. I mean, that, that there's just something about it. They don't understand that we don't always know that they're under our feet or in yeah. our way. But, <laughs> Absolutely. But I, I love them. Even, even as much of a pain as they can be, I still love them. And, <laughs> right. I want to talk a couple things, if you don't mind, of one, um, mindset. How, how were you able to, oh, you don't mind talking about this, keep your, um, tumor from becoming a crutch you know when i heard your tumor you know made my cough seem like nothing i felt <laughs> oh what am i what am i complaining about a cough for and stuff but but <laughs> how do you keep it from woe is me look at me you know and and getting in that that pity party and staying there you know um sometimes we do that and we stay or we have those and i'm not saying you know we don't need time to reflect or whatever but how do you keep it from becoming a permanent crutch and holding you back from your potential? That, that's a great question. Um, I Part of it is just my personality. I think I was just born to not be, to sit around and do nothing. Like I just, I have to be productive, whether that's good or bad, because sometimes it's bad. Sometimes I make myself be productive when I should just be taking it easy. Um, some of it is just built in resilience. I, I, have, I have overcome a ton in my life, a, a very abusive relationship. Um, I had cancer at 36 that I think was from the abusive relationship and then the tumor. And everything that happens just, you know, what doesn't kill you makes you stronger. I love that song and it's so true. Um, I just look at it as this is another growth area, another thing to learn from. Um, and I really found once I really realized how much I love web design, I really look at the tumor with gratefulness. And I know that kind of sounds goofy, but it helped me find my passion. I don't think, I think I'd still be in the corporate world killing myself if I hadn't been stopped. And sometimes that's what's happened happens are we go so hard that our bodies just go, hello, I am going to bring you to your knees because you won't do it yourself. And that stopping and just spending time really, um, it, it puts me in a place of, of gratefulness now because it, and you know, ironically, it still does it. Um, I, Lately, I have even been known to work way too hard, to just work too many hours, do way too much, and, and go back to that old self that I was in the corporate world. And the tumor stops me by, you know, I get pain and I get, you know, reminder that I'm not the person I used to be, slow down. And I kind of feel like that's a healthy thing because I'm pretty stubborn and I don't tend to listen to my body. So <laughs> it um, gets my attention. And like the last couple of months, I've really pulled way back and said, okay, I'm going to listen to my body more. I'm going to respect it. And I'm not going to work myself to death. You shouldn't have to work yourself to death if you do it right. And I'm just trying to learn how to do it right. <laughs> <laughs> and, and that's, that's the thing. I think that there's no like balance, you know, there's some give and take and everybody's, scale looks different you know um what what may seem like working hard or overworking for one person is is something different for others or you know their their balance if you will i i don't i don't use the word balance in my life it, it's a mesh for yeah. me you know and, and everybody's right. mesh or everybody's scale or whatever or deck is, is different you know and I, I think that's so misconstrued so often because of how we define success. We think success only has one definition. You know? <laughs> yes. 
I battle yeah. that one. Yes. <laughs> you know, and, and even in our own minds, we have multiple definitions. Well, if, if I, if I am successful at this and I'm failing at this or, or whatever, or if I'm, if I'm not doing this, like, like Janet does or like Bob does, then I'm not a success. Right. You know, right. Comparing. <clears throat> but, yes. But it, it ties into our goals. You know, what is our goal? What is our definition of success? You know, I can, I can throw this piece of garbage in the trash can and be successful, you know, <laughs> right. or right. taking time and reading a book to my son yesterday was a success. Yes. You know, yes. so I love that you pointed out, you know, what you need to do for you. And there's so many other things we get misconstrued with self-love we think is selfish if we're not always out helping yes. or doing or serving or giving or working or whatever then we're being selfish if i'm taking mm -hmm. time to watch a movie you know i'm not being productive um, right i'm not right. saying you know, be lazy and do that all the time or whatever, or, or right. you know, like the right. responsibilities, of course, but, you know, being, being productive or it, it took me a long time to be okay with saying I'm busy sitting at home, watching a movie with my family. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. We, we have to, we, we have to remember our ourselves and our own lives. And, you know, thankfully I have a husband that's really good at, calmly reminding me as well. You know, he has a completely different definition of success than I do. He's not an entrepreneur. And, you know, sometimes we have discussions around that because I'm like, well, I understand, you know, your definition, mine's a little different, but he's also really good at going, you know, but don't forget that having a happy life is also successful. Having a healthy, happy life and us just spending time together in a you know, watching a movie, going to the beach, do whatever is just as important as making a lot of money in my business. Yep, absolutely. And and I love how you also brought up like essentially um, what we deem as roadblocks end up being blessings in the future. Um, I'm an analogy guy and I love road trips and traveling. So I use road trip travel analogies a lot, but <laughs> Some of my greatest road trips and vacations have been with detours because oh, I've, wow. I've discovered new places. I've met different people. I've seen different things that I would not have otherwise seen, you know, I just, yep. You know, yep. But Absolutely. at the time that detour or that flat tire was an obstacle, was an inconvenience to me or, mm -hmm. you know, having to shut down one of my previous businesses for various reasons, whatever. Um, it seemed like a setback. It seemed like a inconvenience. It seemed like a, a fail failure. Yeah. 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 When, when looking back at it and learning from it, yeah, it was not what I wanted at the time, but I'm glad it happened and I'm glad that I went through it because of what I've learned and the people I've met and the experience and stuff. But, but looking back, I've realized that it's, it was there to help me get to where I really need to be. Exactly. Absolutely. <clears throat> and sometimes so, those things just happen because we need something to get our attention. <laughs> so <it's, laughs> we we're on that route and we're, Headstrong heading this way, and sometimes the universe or God or whatever you want to call it just has to smack us upside the head and go, "Hey, pay attention." <laughs> <laughs> yep, yep, and I, I love it. And and you, it's hard to see the blessing in it at the moment, but yes, if we if we're able to step back for a second and look at okay, what what blessing come from this? You know, I'll give you an example. I recently had to change the wheel bearing on my van. And because it was starting to do this and stuff going down the road, it's just my van was going like this. I'm like, something's not oh right. God. Right. You know? 
And it was an inconvenience. It was a pain in the butt, ordering the parts and yada, yada, yada. But as I step back after a little while, I'm like, I'm very grateful and blessed that it happened on my street and I could back it into my driveway and not on the freeway going 80. Oh, yes. Oh, absolutely. Yes. You know, so if, if we can remember to step back and see the blessings that it is, okay, yeah, I got this flat tire, but I'm grateful because I avoided this major accident that I would have been involved in had I not got the flat tire or, you know, this thing fell off the back of a truck or a rock side or something like that that happened that I would have been smack dab in the middle of. Right. You know, right. so taking taking a step back and looking for the the silver lining in the rainstorm or whatever phrase you want to use mm -hmm. um, is, is so important. And then you become more grateful for the situation and more grateful all the way around. Absolutely. Yep. Something yep. else I'd and like to And that's life-changing. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. Life-changing on multiple levels because um, you grow so much more and then you get more out of future experiences every time you recognize those blessings. <clears throat> right. Right. And I do believe in every challenge, conflict, issue, whatever we come across, there is always another side, a good side. And we can choose to whine about it, complain about it, let it take us down, or we can choose to find the good, find the lesson, find the place to be grateful because there's always something. I mean, even in my, even in my poor marriage, you know, I look at that and go, well, number one, I would never have become the person I am today to be the wife to the, to the man I was supposed to be with now, if I hadn't gone through that, I also use it to, to help other women as much as possible, because I recognize how hard it is to be in that kind of relationship and not even know how to get out or what to do or who to talk to. Um, I mean, in every situation we have the opportunity to learn and grow and be grateful versus crabby and unhappy about it. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. And, and that ties into so many things. And that's, that's also why I do like the mesh concept that I use instead of the balance, because everything ties back into everything. You know, this mm -hmm. happened in my personal life, but it helped me in my business life or vice versa, or this yes. happened with my fur babies. And because of that, I met this person and we connected on this and and then it helped me over here. And then you knew somebody that I could do business with over here, or we had a business relationship that started because of, you know, so it's a it's a, a spider web mesh kind yes. of thing. And so true. And I, I love it. And something else you brought up about your your business and stuff and um designing the websites. You mentioned that you, you didn't want to do anything in the marketing and stuff at first. But, right. <laughs> you know, and, and, and we all have our, our zones and stuff. I'm like, I just want to, I just want to do this. You know, I, I just want to have my Thanksgiving dinner, but I don't want to do the dishes. <laughs> Great one. Yes. <laughs> That's me. <laughs> you know, I, I want to talk for a minute on, on getting out of our comfort zone and pushing ourselves past what we think is our boundaries as well as the importance of collaboration, you know, um, like for example, right now I've got someone doing yard work for me. I, I like my yard done and I love the look and the smell of fresh cut grass and things like that, but I don't necessarily like weeding. Right. Right. So Absolutely. I've, I've got someone that, you know, it's a win-win all the way around. And so I want to talk about the importance of, you know, um, getting out of our comfort zone, I'll go weed if I have to, but someone else would, you know, if, if they like doing yard work and stuff, I'll let them, you know, or somebody that loves marketing, you collaborate and I'm looking at your website over here. That's why I'm doing this number. Oh. <laughs> and, and I'm on the team page, you know, meet the team. 
I want to talk about, you know, collaboration and, well, if, if I don't do it all, then I won't make the money or I won't get all the commissions or I won't make as much or whatever, you know. So how, how do you collaborate? How do you know when to collaborate? How do you know who to collaborate with? Um, whether that's through contracts or business partners or hiring. Mm -hmm. That's a, that is a great question. I think I have a great example to use. Um, well, and, and starting with the marketing, I mean, honestly, if I hadn't recognized early the power of networking, I would never have really learned that lesson because I met really great marketing people early in my business that taught me so much that I have built on and use consistently and, and just learn more and more all the time. But, you know, recently, so I don't build websites in WordPress and I'm one of the few web developers out there that, that don't. And I have a lot of reasons why I don't. Um, the main reason is I want easy websites for my clients that's, that are easy to maintain and update and stay up to date. But I realized about a year ago that to really offer SEO services, I'm going to limit myself if I don't open myself up to supporting WordPress sites, at least on the SEO side. But I didn't want to learn WordPress inside and out. So I hired someone or on a contract basis, but I went out and sought someone with SEO experience that knows WordPress. And I'm learning more and more about WordPress all the time. I'm much better at it than I was a year ago, but I don't make myself crazy trying to do it all myself. I don't want to do it all myself. I can't do it all myself. So I do turn to um, other people. And on my team page, I think all I have on there is my solution manager, Pam, who's been with me for over two years now. I love her to death. Um, I originally brought her on as a VA type person, which she's she's good at. She does some of my admin. But when we really got serious about SEO, that became her passion. And I love that I was able to help someone else find their passion and pursue it. And it's helping grow the business and she i mean she's just flourishing in it and it's it's sometimes embarrassing because i have to ask her questions about seo and i'm supposed to be the expert but it's it's so wonderful because she's such an asset to the team and she is now getting to do what she absolutely loves doing so it's such a win-win all around for us for our clients for everybody yeah and and there's there's nothing wrong with asking for help, you know, and, and on, on the, on that side, I sometimes, um, especially like on games and stuff, I'll ask my son for help. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> hey, I believe how do you do this? <laughs> you know, but. They're so much smarter these days. <laughs> oh, oh yeah. And, and they're, they're around them more if they, if they find what they love, you know, and. Like you said with Pam, you know she loves the the SEO stuff. Um, she's flourishing. Let them let them do their thing. Yes. You know, it was it was hard to to let that go, and not worry or micromanage or or think you're you're not providing as much value because you don't do fifty different things. Right. You know, um, but when you find the right collaboration and the right people to collaborate with it, you go a lot further than if you were to try to do everything, everything yourself. <laughs> yeah. You I, know. you know, I've always heard do what you love and outsource the rest or do, or do what you're good at, whichever, hopefully it's both. Hopefully you're good at what you love and then outsource the rest. And that's, that's really what I, what I try to do. I have so many partners in what I do because I do, have that philosophy for sure. I, what I love is websites. I mean, that's what I love. I, I believe in SEO and I know SEO and I love to talk about SEO, but what I really want to do all day is build websites. <laughs> that's what I want to do. I want to design and do that part and talk to the clients and build their brand, represent them. Um, and so I'm so happy that I have that, you know, ability to have someone else pick up the rest of it. Yeah. 
and and then you you put more of you into it you know if if i'm out pulling weeds in my backyard i'm not not necessarily dreading it but i'd rather not be there there's a hundred other places i'd rather be i'd rather go right. empty the garbages in the house <laughs> right right you know but <clears throat> If I'm helping somebody in, in my industry or, um, or if I'm planning my next vacation, I love travel planning, not as a profession, but I love to do it because it's exciting. Mm -hmm. um, it, but if I'm, if I'm in my zone, as they say, then I'm, I'm there. You know, my mind is there. My focus is there. I'm, I'm there, you know, if I'm, yeah. whether that's on a personal level, professional level, if I'm reading a book with my son or watching a movie, I'm there, you know, um, yes. I'm not wishing I'd be somewhere else or on my phone the whole time or anything like that. But if I'm out pulling weeds, I'm like, I could be doing this. Or I'd rather do that <laughs> right. or playing on Facebook, you know, I did it. Right. <laughs> You know, absolutely and, yes and, and even the same thing in my my business in the financial industry you know there are certain things that i'd rather not do so i i hand them off to other people that love doing them mm -hmm. but we both get the job done we we both serve better we both perform better we all win our clients win all the way around absolutely and, yes and we don't dread Monday morning. Right. Yeah. God, that's such a good point. Yeah. I don't, my husband does that. Oh, it's Friday. It's the end of the week or, oh, it's Monday. And I, it, I have the time. I don't even know what day of the week it is. You know, it's, I don't, I think of Friday as my, you know, I get to really get stuff done day, but other than that, it's, you know, it's all great. Every day is great. Yeah, I, I, I love it. Um, and it's, you don't know how different it is and how freeing it is until you're there. When you don't have to, oh, it's Monday tomorrow. I don't want uh, to, you know, the, the main reason I know it's Monday is because that's garbage day for me. <laughs> <laughs> right. Us too. Yeah. <laughs> that's funny. But. But when, when you're doing what you love, you know, what, and that, that, that doesn't have to be necessarily in, as a business owner, you could do that as in nine to five, you know, and there's, there's, um, many people that love that, you know, um, so when you're doing what you love, you're, you're there, you don't care. You're not dreading Monday. You're, you're not wishing or living for the weekend. You know, you you don't yeah. take your your stress of, from work home with you because you're you're in line with who you are, right? You know, and right. and that so often we've grown up with keep your work and personal life separate, but but they're not; they're interconnected. If you're if you're stressed at work, you know, yeah, you can kind of leave some of the the paperwork and the phone calls and emails at work but you're still stressed and it, it ties back to your emotion and it ties back to mm -hmm. um you know and then you start eating crappy or binge watching tv or not exercising or things like that so it, it all is interconnected absolutely you know? it's it's so true and then with those of us that work from home both of us work from home so it's really hard to uh to separate work and, and home life anyway, you know, when you're together 24 seven and, you know, and, and I love to talk about my business, you know, I'm, I'm very grateful. My, my husband is my business partner. So he kind of has to listen to some of it, but <laughs> I, you know, I love, I love talking about it, especially when it's the good stuff, you know, when, when a client does something that just is amazing or, um, you know, I get to do something cool and different or, you know, it's, I love to talk about that with him and get him excited about what we're doing. Yeah, absolutely. And, and, and then when you get that level of excitement with your clients too, like you were saying, 
you know, and and your clients are winning, and and you're you're winning because your clients are winning, and you, you're both <coughs> excuse me, you're both excited, and you know, it's more fulfilling that way, you know, and that's that's why um, that's why I focus on why we do what we do on the show more than what we do because it, it's it's so much more rewarding when we're in line with who we are when we're living our passion when we're doing what we love you know and we just serve differently i'm doing what i love different than you're doing what you love but we're both doing the same thing in a way you know and and your success may look different than my success but we're still successful and yes and it and everybody wins you know because I I build my own website and it's very basic, very simple, but it's like very low on the totem pole for me. <laughs> it's it's not what I love to do. <clears throat> I, I do it because I don't update it all that often. So you know, I just go make a few tweaks here and there on the website I use for some different things, but <clears throat> I don't love it. But you, that's your thing, you know, and and so we all serve in different ways, but we still serve, and and it's so awesome when we when we can collaborate and connect, even on not um, directly connected levels, like right. That, if that makes sense. Yeah, and, and I love I love contemplating, thinking, daydreaming, if you will, whatever how things chain reactor tied together you know you met someone in florida that went on a cruise to australia that flew to japan that flew over to la that i met on a cruise in la you know and you never know when our relationships and our connections connect oh yeah you know or how many things i you know i've i've been on um, shows based out of Australia and they talk to someone in Kentucky and, you know, so <laughs> it all ties together. And so it's kind of just fascinating to think about, well, how would, you know, how do those things connect? And I wonder how those people met or what that effect had that on those people. And, you know, yeah. So. Yeah. And you start realizing it's really, <laughs> it's such a small world. I mean, we, it, in the big scheme of things, especially in small business, when we really look to network and collaborate and meet other people, it's, it's amazing to me how I can come across the same people in multiple places from around the world or the country or, you know, both. Um, and it's, it's, I mean, I just, just yesterday I had someone reach out to me from one group in Phoenix, that um, is not related to another group that I'm very aligned with in Phoenix, you know, and I have no ties to Phoenix, but I know so many people there <laughs> just from, you know, connections. Making yeah. These connections. And, and a prime example is we got connected through Julie Jones. Right. Yes. And you know, you're in Phoenix. In, yeah. <laughs> you're in Florida. She's in Phoenix. I'm in Northern Utah. And Julie Jones and I got connected through someone else who we connected through someone else. And so it's like five connections later and, yeah. and here we are. And just this fascinating, but, but we're all tied together in a way because we're, if we're doing what we love and we're serving, you know, and you're helping your clients win and those clients go help their clients win. You know, your clients might have clients that have clients that I'm one of their clients. Right. You know, and so when we when we serve and we're doing what we love, it ripple effects. And then through those five or ten connections, I'm I'm getting a piece of Lori's work and her passion through those five or ten different connections. Right. So right. it's not just the direct one to one contract client connection there. It's and and it's not even client to um <clears throat> excuse me 
client connection or whatever, it's on a personal level too. You know, you might have started out as a as a client at first, but then then we found some common interests and now you're now you're my camping buddy or you're my cruising buddy or you know yeah. or things you never know where it's gonna go. And absolutely just being open to open to life, open to the possibilities. You know, <clears throat> what if I tried this? What if I said yes to this opportunity? What if I tr- got out of my comfort zone, did a little marketing, and then I met Pam? But what if I didn't do that? What if I never right. met Pam? What if I never met Julie? Then I may not have ever met Lori, you know? And so you you never know when those things are coming. And, and those this is one of my funnest things about doing this show is just meeting and seeing those connections and where those people come from. Anyways, I can talk so about excited. that forever. <laughs> <laughs> well, I do have to mention, just because you brought up Julie Jones, I just finished her website and I think it is my favorite so far. So if you haven't looked at it, you got to check it out because it, Julie Jones is an amazing human being and to capture her on the web is a, is a challenge. And I, I think I stepped up to it. <laughs> yeah. And, and you got to check out Julie Jones anyways, not right. just the website, but she is right. amazing. And she, she is. is, and you can totally tell that she is being her. You know, she's oh, yeah. got the, the goofy glasses, the cool, funky glasses on, and she's just being her. She's yes. letting her personality shine in everything she does. You it's know? an inspiration. Yeah. And, and every time I'm around her, a reminder that we all need to be ourselves. And myself yeah. doesn't have to be herself. You know, I don't. I don't feel comfortable in goofy glasses, but you know, I've got my color instead, you know, that's, that's me. That's my, my piece. I, you know, it's, we have to find what makes us, us and live it. Absolutely. Yeah. You be you. I love the Dr. Seuss thing that says no one is more you than you, or no one is more you or than you, or that's true. true." Whatever that saying is, I know I butchered it, but, and 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 that's okay, you know, be goofy. Who cares if people think you're a goofball? Who cares if you know not everybody likes your post? Well, and that's you know, that's something I've really learned recently too, is we don't have to be liked by everybody. We're not going to do business with everybody. Your client is not everybody. We tend to do business with people that we align with and often that are that are like us and once i realized that i realized that i stopped worrying about my competition i stopped worrying about what everybody else is doing and i started realizing that and i have come to find that i attract my clients i mean we all do but i had to learn that i attract my clients and the ones that are supposed to work with me that are going to want to work with me they're going to find me they're going to come to me as long as I'm out there. Now, if I hide in my office and I'm never out there to be seen, they're not going to find me. They're back to the marketing piece. But that was so freeing when I realized I don't have to be perfect for everybody. I don't have to be liked by everybody. I'm not going to be liked by everybody. That's a huge realization that not everybody is going to like me. So let's be myself and know that the people that do like me will come. They'll, they'll come because I attracted them. Absolutely. And Sharon, absolutely love Julie Jones. <laughs> love for Julie. <laughs> <laughs> She's so often no. amazing. I'll have to check out her new site. And yeah, you know, and, and it frees up the scarcity mindset that we're trapped in. Oh no, my my competition is going to take away my clients. Now, like you said, unless you're hiding under a rock, there's there's plenty of clients, plenty of business to, yes. to go around. <clears throat> Absolutely. You yes. know, and and even if, if I did design websites, 
my personality is not going to connect with everyone that connects with you. Or I may do it a little differently. I may have this flair or this technique and yours is over here or, you know, your approach is different and stuff. And, you know, so there's plenty to go around as long as you're being yes. authentic to you and putting yourself out there, you know, exactly. make a few mistakes, get embarrassed. Um, <laughs> wear some goofy glasses. You know, if you go on my Facebook profile, I, I just made a video of, of a big five gallon bag of milk that I pretended was an IV because I love milk. You know, so <laughs> this just being you. <laughs> yeah, I love it. <laughs> and if somebody doesn't like it, then oh well. Right. They'll move on and they'll go find someone else they like. And someone that does like you will come along. Absolutely. So um switching gears a little bit. Um you got a monthly round table coming up. Is that correct? Um, yes and no. I kind of put it on hold in April and May, just as I kind of stepped back to listen to my body, but it will be coming back in June. Um, and it's, it's a great opportunity just to, it, it really is a round table. We just talk. We, you know, I answer people's questions that they have about SEO or their websites or even marketing. Um, I learn things from other people, which I always love. Um, and we just, we just chat. Um, and it, it, I call it the coaches round table. Originally it was going to be mainly for coaches, but I have all kinds of small businesses come and It's a, it's a great, a great time that I'm definitely bringing back in June. Awesome. Yeah. And again, nothing wrong with, um, taking a break and switching gears or shifting focus, you know, and and doing what what you you need for your body or your business or your personal goals, you know, make make some tweaks, make some changes, and <clears throat> um, where can people find more about that roundtable or getting in contact with you? Um, I have a, my website for sure, um, bizbolster.com, and I have a meetup group and. Um, the name, I need to shorten the name. The name is so long. I can't even tell you what the whole name is. It's, it's SEO and websites for small business. <laughs> Something along those lines. <laughs> that horrible. <laughs> but if you go out to my website and I do put the events on my website when we, when we do them and, uh, out there, you, you can find so much information on my website. You can find my gallery. You can find, um, galleries of specific types of websites that we do. You can, we have an SEO, uh, FAQ and um, glossary out there under our resources. And of course you can always sign up for a free call with me. If you have, if you want to ask me anything about anything related to websites or SEO, or I guess me, if you wanted, but. <laughs> <laughs> let's chat. <laughs> where, where do you get your glass frame? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I hate to tell anyone that because they're so my brand, you know, I have like six pairs cause I'm afraid they're going to stop making them someday. <laughs> but Benny, Benny's where I get them. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. You, you can have a customized glasses frame just for you. Oh I, God, that would be so cool to take my brand and do, Oh man, that's, Oh, I wonder if you could do that. You're going to make me like have to check that out now. Cause I, my brand, my, my logo background, which I have like nothing around me, but well, I have nothing to pick up. Oh, here we go. Found something. My background is used on everything. And my logo was designed from that. And it would be so cool to have glasses made out of that. That'd be, that'd be awesome. There you go. So, so next time we connect. <laughs> Or, or have, have your logo dangling from your earrings. Ooh, there's another great idea. Wow, <laughs> Kenny, thank you. You're a brand guy, man. That's such a great I'll, idea. I'll expect royalties. Okay. All right. I will keep you, I will keep you in the loop on that. <laughs> I love it. Oh, man. Um, and you're just having fun, you know. We're just letting our personalities through and we have fun. And, and so many... I know we're joking around, but 
you know, different ideas to explore. What if I do this? What if I get glasses with my logo on it? What if I, you know, that's what somebody thought when they, oh, what if we put it on a hat? Right. What if we Someone put had it on to come up with that. You know, right. that's so commonplace today, but back then somebody thought they were crazy for having that idea. That would not sure. catch on. Who's going to do that? Right. Right. everybody now <laughs> yes exactly you know? exactly and it just came from being you and putting yourself out there and taking those risks and exploring those possibilities you know what if what if henry ford never tried to create the v8 motor right or the right. Wright brothers or you know so many other different variable um examples right. we can use but um, so I will say, if there's anyone watching that does customize glasses or earrings, please reach out to me because I love those ideas. <laughs> so maybe someone watching will already have the answer. And here you go. That's how you can reach out right there. <laughs> Thank you. I appreciate it. <laughs> oh, well, Lori, I've enjoyed talking with you. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you for taking the time and sharing your experiences and personality and knowledge and just sharing who you are a little bit. So thank you. And everyone watching, please reach out to Lori. You know, she's got a lot of great things. And especially if you do customized glasses frames, I'd love to have a follow-up <laughs> and see what we can come up with in a couple months. That <laughs> Maybe so that'll awesome. be at your, your new round tables. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> love it thank you so much <laughs> but you know reach out to lori um she's great at what she does she enjoys what she does so reach out to her connect even if it's not for websites connect with her anyways i'm i'm sure glad i did and i'm sure glad i met julie who connected me with lori and just putting myself out there and taking that risk and looking into that positive what if Excuse me. <clears throat> but thank you again for being here and tuning in. And as always, remember to live your passion, fulfill your purpose, and explore those possibilities.